Ask me how I get any work done when I have this little adored face in front of me at all times. Hey nerds, it's Teary. Welcome back to my show. Topics of today include BlizzCon 2015 eSports opening week event. Woo! BlizzCon's annual charity auction, more info on Valor being added to World of Warcraft, and Overwatch beta release hype! First, really quick, BlizzCon 2015's eSports guide by WoWhead is linked in the description. I would go over some of the schedule stuff and what they're doing with you, but there is so much, so much, there's no point in even touching on it, but we do know exactly when Everything's happening up until BlizzCon, so we can find out who are the winners and who will be competing at BlizzCon. The live stream link for the tournaments and the schedule are both in the description. Additionally to BlizzCon, Blizzard is conducting a charity auction via eBay. You will find art, collectibles, memorabilia, all sorts of fun stuff on the auction, and you might be able to snag some pretty valuable stuff for a dang good deal, because that's what auctions are. Yeah, no. Auction. Get it. What? 100% of the proceeds go to benefit Children's Hospital of Orange County, and the auction will be running from November 4th through November 13th. If you'd like to see some of the items that will be up for auction and other information, check the charity page. Link in the description. Peeps over at Wowhead have done some significant work for those of us interested in knowing the Valor system currently in the World of Warcraft PTR. They have laid out for us how much Valor you get for doing what, how much Valor you can get total for doing each thing, and how much Valor you can get total per week if you do everything. Total per week is 4875 That seems like a really decent amount considering the gear upgrades only cost 250 The first Heroic Warlords dungeon of the day will get you $100 points. The first Mythic dungeon you complete each week will get you 300 Valor points. You get 500 Valor for completing the weekly bonus quest. Each wing of Hellfire Citadel LFR gets you 150 Valor and high mall wings get you 75 valor. And a recap from last video, in spending these valor points, you can upgrade your gear five item levels for 250 valor twice. You can get 10 item levels on a piece of gear with 500 valor points. Most of the end game content loot can be upgraded. All the deets are in the wowhead link in the description. All right, now a little bit about Overwatch beta. Overwatch beta was just released and it is a very, very small closed beta kind of old school, so it's an early, early beta right now. I was disappointed I didn't get an invite because I really want to post videos and stream for you guys. I'd be all about it. Just dive right in. But, you know, maybe I'll get the next wave. However, there is hope. Now and then, Blizzard will conduct a weekend where they will have a larger group of beta testers invited for the weekend to test out the game. So hopefully, I mean, maybe even just that. If I get in on a weekend, I'm going to be doing an extra live stream. Though it is a very closed beta, it is a open discussion. Post videos, post images, stream, talk about it. So those of you that didn't get invited to the beta, at least you will be getting flooded with content from people that did. And you can give feedback as well. So if you are invited to the Overwatch beta, you might want to watch this video because he kind of gives you a little rundown on how you can best help them with the game. And they also want to make kind of like little chat videos where they're letting us know why they did certain things, um, changes they've made and things like that. Ways that you can help, things that they want tested, so keep an eye out for those videos. Also, I will be trying to let you guys know about those opener, <laughs> less closed beta weekends. I will do my best to find out about them as soon as they are announced and make sure you guys know. So if you have been invited to the Overwatch beta, please, please, please do play it. It helps them a lot. What helps them most is if you post information on bugs or give feedback. There are many ways you can do that. It's all in the link in the description. There are forums and other ways you can tell them about bugs or give your feedback. There is also a very helpful beta Q&A linked on this page. So have fun, lucky ducks. I can't wait to try it out. I tried it at BlizzCon, but I mean, you get like, I don't know, uh, three minutes. I don't know how long it was. It was such a small amount of time. Maybe it was 10. The power like flickered when I was playing, so I think my session ended a little bit early, so that sucked. Anyway, that is my show for today. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your support. Drop me a like, 
Leave me a comment letting me know why you liked or disliked this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I also hope to see you at my live streams Tuesday between 1.30 and 2 p.m. is when I start. That's Pacific time at twitch.tv slash tyranny. I play Final Fantasy 14 on that live stream and then Friday night at 7.40 p.m. Pacific time I play World of Warcraft a rating Hellfire Citadel with my guild. So I hope, hope, hope to see you there. But until then, take care of yourselves. I will talk to you soon. All right. I love you all. Bye.